We started behind the league with the very powerful black male superhero known as Icon for Black History Month. And what better way to end Black History Month with a strong note for a powerful black woman? Enjoy. Please note, there are various versions of Nubia. We're going to talk about the main three, her first appearance in the 1970s which was later erased after the first instance of the Crisis on Infinite Earths during the 1985. Since then, two versions of Nubia exist, Earth 23 where she is that universe's Wonder Woman and Nubia on New Earth, who was the first champion of the Amazon. Originally, during Earth 1 of the olden age of comic books back in the 70s, Nubia was Diana's sister. Both were formed from clay by the same queen, Queen Hippolyta. However, the clay used for Nubia was that of dark clay, also known as black clay. Essentially, Nubia was taken from the mascara by Mars, or as you God of War players may know, the Greek god Ares. He essentially raised her as a warrior to fight Amazonians, but this was later put to the test when Nubia and Diana were confronted in battle. Diana did not know who Nubia was. All of what she knew was that this woman was claiming the title of Wonder Woman. And in Themyscira, there can only be one. During battle, Nubia essentially won the fight, knocking Diana's sword out of her hand, but pausing before giving a fatal strike which gave Diana the time to lunge in and wrestle Nubia down to create a draw. Nubia left stating that she'd return one day to yet again challenge Diana for the title of Wonder Woman. It's important to note that when Nubia had the chance to kill a man for the title of the ruler of an island that she possessed, she won that battle but spared the male's life, stating, A woman does not destroy life, she cherishes it. This ties in to her Amazonian roots as the Amazons themselves cherish life above all else despite being fantastic warriors. Moving on to the modern era of comics, we now have the two classic Nubias. One from our new Earth and one from Earth 23. Speaking on Earth 23's Nubia, she is THE Wonder Woman, the one and only it makes sense, however, Earth-23 is primarily a far more diverse, and I mean that it literally considers itself the more ethnically diverse universe. As in, in this universe, Kal-El is black, and also is the President of the United States of America. He also leads the Justice League, which consists of Batman, Nubia, Vixen, Steel, a black Green Lantern, and more. Nubia in Earth-23 is essentially the same as the New Earth, however, she took the same path that Diana would have taken in her place. This will make sense when we speak on Nubia and New Earth. On New Earth, Nubia was completely redesigned. It is still attached, as far as my knowledge, that Nubia is still Diana's sister, however, the origin is a bit different. Nubia had won the Tournament of Grace, the same thing that Diana won later in the years. And as such, Nubia was the first champion of the Amazonians. She was then placed in charge to protect and guard the Dunes Doorway, which lead to the River Styx. The river which the guide who asked for two coins to take you to the underworld. You probably have seen this in many reiterations of Greek mythos. Eventually, Nubia goes missing and the Amazonians assume that she's perished in battle during her great protection of the doorway. However, years later when Nubia and Diana meet, Nubia tells Diana that she met the god known as Ahura Mazda, the Zoroastrian god of light and fell in love and that's why she left her post. Nubia has pretty much all the abilities of Diana with only the addition being able to turn anyone she wants to stone, which was a gift given to her by the Gorgons after she helped them out in a previous adventure. You may have known the Gorgons to be the snake-like women with the snake hair, same as Medusa, who would turn anyone that they glared at to stone. 
comparing Nubia from her original origins back in the 70s in Earth-1 to the new modern Nubia in New Earth. It still holds true on all occasions that Nubia was to be a complement to the same message that Diana stood for, empowering women. Through all the changes that Nubia has had, they've all pushed her to a more unique design to break away from the mold as just the quote-unquote Black Wonder Woman. If you look at her new armor, you'll see that she's sporting a lioness face on her armor's plate. This is a homage to her lover, Ahura Mazda, as it was forged from a piece of him during his death in which we see Nubia comes back to find his killer. Also remember that March 25th, we will be seeing Batman v Superman, the two most iconic superheroes of the DC Universe go head to head on the big screen. If you want to support Essence of Zen, feel free to use our link in the description below to start a 30 day trial for Kindle Unlimited. That's free access to over 10,000 books and audiobooks for 30 days. That's unlimited reading, unlimited listening on any device. When nearing the end of the trial, if you wish not to continue the service, be sure to cancel the renewal activity via Amazon.com slash MyCD. Thank you. This concludes our Black History Month feature of DC Superheroes and Heroines. Who would you like to hear about next? Keep in mind, these videos are extremely time consuming to make, and all the support in sharing, liking, and giving feedback helps. Next year, we'll try to target more black heroes and heroines in the month of February for Marvel as well as return to DC if we can.